Hey there, signs of Gemini. This is Kim, here to do your reading for your next 48 hours. Thanks for joining me today. Please like, share, and subscribe. We are asking that your spirit team and your angels join us. Also, if you're looking for a private reading, those are only $18. Check out the description box below on how to email me and get a private reading. So, Gemini, let's see what's going on for you. All right. Messages for Gemini. Next 48 hour, of course, they're general messages, but take them how they resonate. If they don't, do not force them. And this is the journey of the sacred bee. Okay. Death in the reverse, which is like um maybe some kind of ongoing transformation. Oh, you have a uh, Scorpio energy, a lot of transformation and change showing up. Oh, nice. Okay, two for the outcome. Whew, it's all about the journey. Um, it's a one foot in front of the other and 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 just having trust in in this. Hmm. Okay. Queen of Wands is the past energy. Could have had to do with an Aries. It didn't have to. But Queen of Wands is usually about being bold, brave. And I, I would associate the Queen of Wands with this Seven of Wands energy crowning you, which is, you know, kind of like boldly going after what you want. Um, so the queen of wands, not shy at all, attractive, has a persona. Um, tell me more about the queen of wands in this sense as to why it is here for Gemini's reading. It's truth and clarity of how maybe somebody, maybe it's about somebody's persona or, um, maybe even truth and clarity regarding like the mask that you put on for work or whatever it is that you do um truth clarity it's a win it's a win when you're brave and bold like the queen of wands so then we have the knight of swords in the reverse with the tower as the challenge the nine of wands is in the reverse at the heart of the matter there's just this feeling like oh goodness if something doesn't change um, then there's going to be like a major shakeup as far as, as far as you're, you're concerned. It's not, it's not with you. This change is you're wanting somebody else to change. <coughs> Excuse me. I think that there may be something with games and things like that and maybe addictions and stuff like that. Cause I, I see you completely getting rid of anything toxic. And not letting anything tie you down um, in a sabotaging type of way. Not letting that happen. Because, like, you're through with games. You're absolutely through with games. The challenge is, like, it's got to be this per either this person or situation. If it's a job, then it's about the situation. But it has to transform something major. Because of feeling like, hey, look, you're just going to move on to something else here. If not. You know what your Ten of Cups is. You know how you could be completely happy. And your Seven of Wands is you physically like standing up for yourself and um, I'm going after, you know, what it is that you want. And it it can be like a little, it can, it feels almost like, um, like you're making an ultimatum to somebody, if that makes sense. That's what it feels like. And that's what it's coming across as just simply because you're done with the games, you're done with anybody's toxic habits or whatever it is, um, influence. So <clears throat> whatever doesn't feel magical, whatever makes you feel like there's, there's more that there's gotta be more here. You're actually going towards, it is a situation where you have having to, move on in a sense of needing like trusting 
about trust. Like there's an issue with trust here and I, I don't know exactly what it's about, but it's about this not something that's not changing. So you're having, so therefore you make some really big moves. And like I said, it leads to your 10 of cups. It also leads to you letting go of any kind of sabotaging like attachments, and especially anything that you feel like the magic's just not there. Tell me about the nine of wands in the reverse with the heart of the matter. Tell me about that. The king of cups. Oh. You know why you might go for something else? <laughs> this sometimes is a person coming in that um, either you're getting advice on what to go for and what not to go for or what not to put up with, right? Um, either you're getting advice from like a mentor energy or this king of cups is somebody that's new competing for your heart and it's made you feel like, okay, you know what? I'm going to put an ultimatum and the ultimatum is... If this doesn't change drastically, then the heart is, is leaning towards a different direction. And if this resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, then I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, so tell me about what's not changing. Tell me about what's not changing with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Communication. Ooh. And somebody and revisiting a situation. So look, the eight of wands could be you getting hit by Cupid's arrow too from this character. It could really be a Scorpio energy. You've got strong Scorpio energy. It's whatever is not changing has to do with the communication being a little bit better, being open to talk about these things or this change. So five of wands in the reverse, how you're feeling is like you're not um, you're not going to fight for or compete for something. You're not going to play um, games and you're certainly not going to sit around and argue. <clears throat> there you go. Four of wands, four of wands. Because that which doesn't change, you go and you, and you find... Um, a big move and commitment maybe elsewhere or I mean or maybe somewhere that you do know of um, but changing what you're committed to or who you're committed to might be what that's about or feeling like you want to make a really big move towards a different commitment now this could be like work person it doesn't have to be uh, just relationship but um, there's still, there's still goals to me and milestones to make. There's just a situation, like I said, that you feel like you just can't trust. Um, and maybe it's a person. Tell me about the, um, the journey in reverse. What is this that we can't, that we're having a hard time trusting? Someone or this character, maybe this Scorpio, I don't know, somebody that lied, cheated, or stole. Something that they did in the past here with the Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, stealing, something like that. Something kind of deceptive is um, why you can't trust a situation. And, and that's just how the cards are laid out. Now, like I say, you know what you're happy. This is so interesting to see the Ten of Cups in the environment. <laughs> Because you absolutely know what will make you happy. And you know what you're standing your ground on. So it's just kind of interesting here. It's almost like somebody wants you to come back with them or, or go do something with them again. And it's like, ah, no, you know what? If, this, if I haven't heard any news that something's changed, then no, I'm happy right where I am. It could be that kind of energy. Tell me about the devil in reverse. Ooh, Queen of Swords. That's another one of those cards that's like, if this is the way you want to go, if this is how you want to not change, then I've got to do what's best for myself, the family, um, and cutting, cutting a person out or cutting a, a habit or toxic attachment. Um, that's what the Queen of Swords is really good at doing. 
she's good at good also at getting what she wants because of having that strength the ability to do that to cut out what is getting in her way especially if it's going to harm or hinder um, the progress of anybody else that's maybe in the home too <clears throat> okay okay cutting those ties if you want tell me about the magician <laughs> The hope, the fear, I feel like this is is saying, I better see some magic. You better show me some magic. <laughs> Not only is it just major change or transformation that's got to happen, but I better feel some magic too. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Something about this commitment that it's, um, just don't. Ugh. Let me get something else with the Hierophant in reverse. Sometimes, you know, if something's kind of um, an unavoidable decision that has come um, to a conclusion on on a commitment or legal agreement, there's just something that's going to be, um, as far as I see, it's what you're thinking of uh, that is something that was that's going to be unavoidable. It's something that it's already, like, predetermined, like, this is probably what's going to happen. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? So the four of wands in the reverse up there. Tell us more about that. Mm, new investment opportunities or new opportunities to start something that seems like it's going to be really worth it and maybe have a little bit more money in it too. Um, the chariot in reverse is, uh, like I said, is something that doesn't, if it's not going forward, it's only because this person has deceived you before and, and you've decided that you don't want to trust this situation. And the page of pentacles, it looks like this, whatever this new opportunity is, is like you know that it, it will probably lead to your ten of cups. And that looks really great. I'm wanting to say that even Libra had something very similar. And there's the sun coming out and saying, look, we're going to illuminate your way. We're going to make sure that you know every step that you're headed, that you're not going to run into anything um, shady or that you didn't expect because it's it, it's taking this brand new route. It's brand new. And this might be the star of something really, really, really great, something really big. Um, with the sun, it could be absolutely anything, but the potential for growth is huge for whatever um, new investment this is that you've got going. All right, so let's wrap up your reading with some advice from your angels. We're gonna use tarot and let's find out uh, what they can advise, maybe regarding this one person that, that doesn't seem to be what you could trust. Okay, so give them some advice here, Tarot. Um, what about what about this um, transformation? Tell me about this transformation. Oh, oh wow! There's something about also a past person that's possibly going to come back. Um, the sun. The Knight of Wands, the Hermit, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo. Um, it's going to take, this transformation starts from within, um, as within, so without. And um, so many different ways you can look at that. But the Hermit energy is is all about um, you being on that uh, journey that is maybe transformation from the inside out. Uh, finding your light, finding out what is what is guiding you. The Knight of Wands is it, it's almost appearing like as a person who is coming in and out. Um, so maybe you know this person, maybe you've known this person, or maybe this is just when you know when you decide to go at it, um, doing your own research, you know, doing something solo for a minute, and it's like then the movement starts picking up towards things or people that you end up being very aligned with um, and are passionate about. 
and I keep feeling like you'll be shown the way, like the movement just will increase once you really find, do the work to find out what it is that you actually um, are looking for. Ooh, there's the tower. The tower is, um, well, the sun and the tower is, I mean, it's saying that, hey, there's a big, big change coming and there's huge transformation. And if you want it, if you trust it, like your angels, your spirit team, they will lead you um, all the way through it. So, so not to be, um, not to be worried about this. Yeah. You won't feel tied down or restricted and you'll get rid of some interference here um, with the Eight of Swords in reverse. The King of Wands is like, if you're ready to build something magnificent, if you're ready, um, this is smart, attractive person, person that can show you how to action, take action to get things going, even if something's got to majorly transform first. Um, that King of Wands energy is going to be able to help you do that. Leo energy is very strong in your reading. Anything else? So positive um, building actions towards building something. Uh, and there's your solution. The Nine of Swords in reverse is like you've learned how to really control, um, take charge of your thoughts. So that whenever things become too negative or heavy, then we um, immediately stop and say, no, we need to think of the good things that are happening and um, not lose any sleep over this. Something's just not for you to deal with. That's what it feels like. Okay, this is the Kipler fortune telling deck. So I have the pathway, see? pathway is going to be shown it's that um sun energy it's going to show you oh lordy somebody's going away so um imprisonment doesn't have to mean that it can mean like coming out of feeling restricted or bound and then i have 27 unexpected income unexpected income all right and i'm going to pull from the intuitive life coaching oracle here i'll get a card on this just <laughs> Just because it's like what so freeing yourself if a uh, you know relationships feeling like trapped trapped feeling yeah or if somebody feels like left out Whew. strength and confidence uh to, to um go forward fiery energy everything's gonna be okay Heavenly Helpers, 25. Your spiritual team is guiding you through this difficult situation. Hibernation, 66. Your soul needs time alone for meditation and rest. 23. Restlessness. Find a way to calm the waters of your mind. And then I have 16. Approval. Choose to approve of yourself and others will too. I also have six intuition. You are learning to embrace and trust your inner knowing. You are learning to embrace and trust your inner knowing. Uh, 17 nourishment. You're being asked to take time out for self care and past life connections. You are currently healing past life wounds, past life wounds. So that's what I have for you. Thanks for joining me here at Gemini. Sending you love and light. And like I said, if you want a private reading, we can get into more detail for your specific situation. So sending you love and light. Bye-bye.